from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Last week was the nicest week of the summer, that taste of autumn-like air. Now this week, the hottest week of the summer, back-to-back, -back, and relief that will begin to unfold later on Friday, hopefully bringing some much-needed rainfall and then better weather as we head through our Labor Day weekend. But this morning's low is still not bad. Our third morning at 67, despite all these days in the 90s, and we hit 96. That ties two days in June for the hottest so far this summer. But those two days in June were much more humid than they were today and they included some rain which we did not see today making this day 24 without measurable rain at the airport in Evansville and that ties for the longest dry spell since August and September of 1999 and it looks like we will likely stay dry for three more days there is a slight chance we could get some rain Wednesday but if we don't get it tomorrow you have to go back to at least 93 for the last time we went beyond 24 days, but I've only been here since 93, so I gotta get into the archives and really start digging once we have yet another dry day tomorrow. So certainly an historic dry spell for Evansville still playing out. We have an ozone alert for southwestern Indiana and Evansville through tomorrow evening. Unfortunately, levels today were only in the lower end of the moderate range, and now they're down into the good category. But conditions are favorable for higher than normal levels of ozone that could get into that unhealthy for some category, especially during the heat of tomorrow afternoon. And the heat of today featured highs generally in the mid-90s, but it was that dry drier heat that we often get in the early part of autumn so you get in the shade wasn't too bad the heat index it feels like temperature today was still below 100 and we've had several days this summer in which that heat index was up around 105 if not a bit higher than that of course live doppler radar it's dry that'll be the case until at least wednesday morning that's when the slight chance for a little rain will return but clear skies and a warm evening underway live view of the highway 41 strip in henderson we got downtown evansville with a temperature still at, let's see, upper 70s, I believe. We're at 79. Dew points at 65, so it's borderline humid. Should come down a little bit tomorrow, though. Winds are calm with temperatures now falling through the 70s. We'll generally wind up around 70 degrees for a warmer overnight low compared to the past few nights. You can see we're generally running about 1 to 3 degrees warmer than we were last night at this time. Big ridge of high pressure is centered over the central part of the country, and that's anchoring the heat, suppressing any storms from developing but on the edge of that high storms will be firing tomorrow night and they're going to try to make a run at us late tomorrow night and during the day on Wednesday but no issues tomorrow another mostly sunny day just a touch hotter than this afternoon highs will be in the mid to upper 90s forecasting 97 to 98 here in the Evansville metro. No issues tomorrow evening. And then leftovers from some storms may try to get in here pre-dawn hours on Wednesday. You can see a few dying showers there at 4 a.m. A few try to hold on towards daybreak Wednesday morning. And how far south that line makes it will dictate where more storms may develop on Wednesday afternoon, our model gets very aggressive, generating scattered storms along and north of the river. I'm, I think that may be a little too optimistic. The ridge of high pressure is really strong and may not allow these storms to get going. But at least there's a chance, at least northern half of the tri-state, for a little rain Wednesday afternoon. Otherwise, upper 90s for the high. Thursday, we could push 100 degrees, the actual temperature, and still a few spotty showers and thunder showers may fire during the heat of the afternoon. So clear and warm overnight, 69 to 73, mostly sunny, very hot tomorrow, still not too humid, mid to upper 90s. Each day gets a little hotter, but we do have that chance for a little rain and thunder Wednesday and Thursday. 99 Wednesday, a little surge of humidity ahead of that weakening front. Then we kind of dry out a bit, but up to 99 again Thursday. Temperatures coming down Friday as those scattered storms develop Friday afternoon. The front still in the area on Saturday with another round of scattered thunderstorms more in western Kentucky. And then everything pushes away to the south. Rain chances, heat, and humidity all fall as we head towards Labor Day. All right. Thank you, Wayne.